So this video I'm showing uh, a little Mathematica notebook that can be used to solve problem one with the non-linear, non-homogeneous uh, consumption term uh, using Runge-Kutta fourth order and a shooting parameter. So in the previous video I uploaded the little derivation and here I'm, I'm showing how to, how to solve it. So here I'm, I'm calling uh, beta vowels. That is my uh, shooting parameter. And then <clears throat> I cut the problem into uh, 20 uh, parts, ranging from 0 to 1. So the, the range of row, row goes, uh, has a total range of 1 from 0 to 1. H is the uh, uh, step size. So I take the total range and I divide it by the number of points minus one. So that's the size of each step. Then uh, if you remember for the derivation before I defined functions f and h as the uh, the right hand side of the differential equations. And, and also because we're doing a numerical solution uh, we need to have some values for the parameters going in. And uh, in particular here we've got this new and kappa uh, so I, I decided that uh, uh, from literature it seems as though uh, new is around uh, two to three orders of magnitude larger than kappa so I just define kappa to be 0 0.1 and then new is 100 times that and here is uh, our function f and our function g which are functions of uh, rho v1 and v2 and then I've got kappa and uh, a nu there. Uh, these are our solutions. So we're starting on the, on, the, on the far left side and solving with a row equal to uh, zero. And then we're solving over a row equals one in a step-by-step -step fashion. Uh, v1 is equal to zero. And uh, that's our defined boundary. And then our defined, or I should say, a defined initial condition and our initial slope we defined as beta vowels. Um, and an I loop, that's just uh, a looping variable that I used. The next thing to do is to define the coefficients. That's the uh, k uh, 0 through 3 and l 0 through 3. And uh, recognize here that we're putting l naught or l 0 is equal to 0. And that came from our uh, L'Hopital's rule. Uh, and then the rest of these are just uh, formulaic. And after you have defined the coefficients for the fourth order Runge-Kutta, then the next thing to do is to update your uh, values for V1 and V2 uh, using the uh, coefficients. So it's, the, it's the, uh, the average of the coefficients. So this uh, append to that is a uh, function in Mathematica that lets you uh, grow lists kind of one step at a time. And then after we do that, then the next thing, uh, we can actually do a full loop. So this is using a, a, a for statement. Uh, we couldn't do that before because our initial value of L0 was zero from the uh, L'Hopital's uh, limit. And uh, really, it, it's not going to be that. It's going to depend on uh, the function g and h. But uh, now we can. We can take and update all of these. Doot, 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 and then at the bottom, again, append our solutions to the uh, v1, v2, and rho. And at the end of the day, we wind up with rho, which are, are these. And Mathematica writes the solution uh, exact, uh, and you can get a numerical answer by using uh, the command capital N, uh, and then we have V values, or V1. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show uh, a, a plot of the solution using a, a table function. So I use table and row and V1, and when I do that I get a solution that looks something like that. So, 
looking at this, the first question is, is, is this any good? Well, it's just not the first question, it's the only question, right? Uh, and, the, and the way to tell if it's any good is first off to see if the Rangakata is converged. And, and basically we're looking if the step size is small enough to uh, result in a converge solution. Um, in the case that you have a very stiff problem, and we say a stiff problem is one that, that doesn't uh, converge well, uh, you have to go to a really, really large number of points, uh, but we're just using 20. And uh, what we can do is we can just change the number of points and then see what happens. So uh, our solution starts out here and then we solve across from row going from uh, zero to one. This is a, a time problem, an initial value problem. Uh, so what we can do is we can figure out what the solution is here at the end. This should be the most sensitive to changes in the uh, number of steps. And uh, at, the, at the edge of our problem, uh, that far point, uh, we have the value 1.01658. And then we were using 20 points, so now let's try 30 points. And basically we're going to step through the whole problem again, one more time, this time using 30 points. You know, it takes now uh, you know, three seconds instead of two to finish. Um, and we get boundary value two, which is this, which is close. Turns out boundary value one and boundary value two using 20 and uh, 30 points uh, match to within the fourth decimal place, which, which is, is pretty good. Uh, it's probably good enough for what we're doing. Uh, the error then, from our Runga cut algorithm is accurate to about 0.01%. Uh, uh, second question is, what about the shooting value that we picked? Is it any good? Well, I, I knew that I was kind of in the right neighborhood, uh, but we can just simply look at that boundary value and it, it should be one, and it, it's not quite. Uh, so what you can do is you can go through and step through this again, and here I just step through and I, I manually changed uh, that value. And if you pick a shooting value of 0 0.022795, run through the whole algorithm again, it comes out really, really close. Uh, ultimately, uh, we need to decide how accurate we need the solution, and then we pick both the number of uh, Runcakata uh, steps and the uh, the step size and the beta value uh, so that they are matched. Uh, you know, we don't really need the beta value accurate out to you know, 12 decimal places when the Rungakutta is carrying with it a 0.01% uh, you know, error anyhow, so we'll have those matched. Um, as far as, as you know, automating this, if you wanted to, uh, you could take and you could uh, for example, pick beta values like this, make a table of them. And uh, once you had a table of them, you could uh, plot uh, a solution. I don't have it done here, but you, you could plot a solution to, uh, uh, to get uh, a, the, the best beta or get a beta which is uh, acceptably close.